tarmac can actually give you false sensation of safety. Like you are in tarmac so you can drive carelessly. But still you have the same 600 meter drop just beside your road. Yeah. I think in any other country this uh, area would be full of hotels. Really beautiful valley and the road is getting steeper and steeper and sketchier and sketchier in here. It's no railings, 600 feet of drop. <laughs> but we are continuing this road to that valley and there is a one pass that we can probably drive this time of year. A couple of uh, boulders on the road but otherwise good drivable route. This makes me thinking maybe I should make some kind of map of really nice routes that we have driven to share them with everyone because these are the most beautiful parts of Greece. Ancient path going on that hill over there up to town which is uh, like 600 meter higher than this place. Yeah, We're gonna continue road this is more adventure route for Joni. A little bit uh, sketchy parts in this uh, road, but still drivable. And we have like two or three kilometers left. And small waterfalls everywhere. Look what we found, an old abandoned camping ground and this is a great spot to be in a hot day because there's big trees that provide a lot of shade. The road was so horrible that I could not do anything else but cry because I was so sure our van will fell into the canyon and we will die. But sometimes road trips up. Bit traumatizing. But good news, we did survive. Yes. We are alive. <laughs> it was horrible. Uh, Look how big trees are here. I love it in the river sites because there's these really old big trees. This is thousands of years old, I think. I hope. Because the yearly Rings are really small, so these uh, grow really slowly, but still they get this huge. Look at that, how camping place, perfect place in whole universe. I did see the picture of this water pillar working in Google Maps. It's a miracle, you need to fix it, so it's a tap that you need to close and open. It. Yeah, okay, we can get water from there, yay! Old toilet and shower not working and it amazes me how stupid some people are when they still use the toilet when clearly it's not 
working and the waste does not go anywhere. Oh. Creepy little house. It smells surprisingly good here. What this has been, maybe a campground or some uh, place to have a parties. There's uh, 14 trash cans all around this place. And it, these flat places where you can actually put your chairs and tables, maybe. Really strange. This bucket has a great addition to our van life. You can wash our potatoes, Sarah's head or van, or just carry water for something. Now I'm using it to wash potatoes. Quick lunch, pork chops, and mashed potatoes, and Sarah's tofu. Coffee mug as a mashed potatoes tool. Yeah. Multi tools every time, every day. And on the way here we popped to the supermarket and bought some vegetables so now it's like a half tomato. <laughs> Now when we have a fresh fodder just beside us, we can do some uh, yeah, laundry. Because uh, we are not going to the larger city yet, and our laundry basket is totally full. So making like uh, underwear and t-shirts, washing here. Just really simple. Cold butter, hot butter, hand soap, lots of movement, and that's it. First time seeing the sun for days. Yeah, hot water. I think it's uh, maybe 55 degrees. It's hot to dust, uh, touch, but not hot too hot. Yes, now some movement, 10 time movement and time. Then we have clean clothes. No, then we rinse it. Yes. Then we have clean clothes. Yes, that's true. Rinse it. But you can rinse with cold water. Good morning. A little update. We are end of this uh, valley and we have to go out of this valley <laughs> yeah and there's no chance we are going to drive back that horrible awful road that i was scared of because i will have a heart attack so our plan is we will go by foot scout the routes because we have to go over the mountains there's two passes that go from that valley end of the valley uh both of those have a uh, part that is only travel road but there is always also tarmac so we're gonna go scout which route is better to drive on there's yeah. a three uh, towns on the end of this valley villages <laughs> yes villages uh, 60 people live in there and their main uh, income is from animal husbandry just uh, i think three hour walk to town and from there i think we're gonna see the whole pass which, what kind of uh, road it is. Yeah, and if it's even more horrible and scarier, then we have no chance to turn back. Yeah, and then we are in Karpenissi, where we were like uh, three weeks ago. We cannot get rid of Karpenissi. <laughs> this area, I think we are haunted or doomed or what do you say, cursed. Yeah, yeah but I think we're gonna actually go there. Uh, because uh, in satellite view, they look good. In organic maps, so open street map, they look good. Yeah. We cannot look the maps that clearly because this spot has zero internet reception so we will take our cell phones with us and 
hoping we can find some internet connection somewhere. And I want to see the weather forecast because to me this looks kind of... It's going to be a rainy weather, but I don't know. So here is a crossroad that we have to decide which direction we go. Either this way, Travato, and to Capritas, I think. Uh, or this route and same place in the, after the mountains. So we have to go over those big mountains over there. There's two routes that go through this valley. So we're gonna go now look for this because it's more suspicious. This road looks so much wider, so it's uh, it would be easy to just decide to go here rather than this smaller road. But let's go for a little walk. Start of this route doesn't look good at all. Ancient bridge. And when I think about the word Europe, I always think about these old bridges. They look so European. I absolutely love it. And it's such a shame they don't build the bridges like that anymore. Modern bridges are so boring and this is cute as hell. Cute as a button. Kind of steep roads. Yeah, I know the wide angle of the GoPro doesn't show you, but we could barely get here from with the first gear. So this is uh, also somewhere there. If we can get up through this road or not. It's good that they have actually put uh, concrete in the most steepest part of the road. But I think we're not gonna take this route because uh, yeah, it was more sketchier than the previous one which we came to the valley. So gonna follow the larger route. But these are always good feeling when you can see concrete. And this is uh, wide enough for our van to take these turns. This looked in a map really tight. but. Now it looks like normal. We are glad that we went for some scouting. This real gravel road turns into tarmac road and really wide tarmac road. This wasn't here two years ago when the Google satellite view was here. But it continues the other villages so we can get here easily and uh, shelter the rain for a while here in beautiful chapel or church they yeah, are really beautiful chapel yard here yeah and i asked from the trash bin guys and they said that this road is good until the lake limni again if you learn just uh, some words in some language limni lake it's much easier to communicate even with just words. I just said like Limni over there and then driving car. There are some cultural differences. For example, this thumbs up means kind of stick it up your ass in Greece. And we always forget it and then we are like, that is the body. You are tourists, you are forgiven. Yeah, all the all time. Th yeah, so we don't time. sweat about it. Yeah. But these churches, chapels are lovely. They are everywhere. Greek puts a lot of money on this and I think because we are partly taxpayers of the Greece we can enjoy this too. Yes, let's eat some walnuts. Thank you church for providing us some shelter from the rain. Now let's go back to the van and decide how many days we will spend in that abandoned camping ground. Now I'm a little doubting of those garbage 
truck guys saying that it's okay to go over the mountain because they drove through this road with the 11 ton truck full of garbage either it's just normal normal thing here the locals that drive these roads or they are crazy or both oh yeah 11 ton carpet truck just drove through this road it's kind of sweaty weather because it has been rained and now it's so warm so a lot of moistness like in a jungle but the best part of every hike is going to the dip in the river this is really cold river so we are I think it's something like six degrees six degrees or seven degrees maximum because it hurts when you go there this old abandoned camping ground gave us a really nice pleasant place to spend the night and now we continue to the valley the end of this valley there should be a couple of uh, small towns and there is a tarmac so hopefully when we get to the tarmac Sarah can like whoo. Sarah really scares this road so I'm gonna drive really slowly and calmly manners so Sarah doesn't scare that much really beautiful we will be coming back here some year maybe with the fishing gear and fishing some uh, trout they came yesterday two guys fishing here they took like I think 20 trouts really small ones because they are really small in here it's called tammukka in Finland they grow approximately to 25 centimeters in here in this river and there are a lot of them <laughs> they were here like half an hour and they got 20 trouts so next time I'm gonna take my fishing gear for sure or buy something on the way maybe little has again that fishing set on sale that is good set but now calmly manner driving away from here it's kind of steep also this I think this looks not steep at all on the GoPro but this is steep so let's uh, put our fingers crushed and go away from here Safe and sound got up and because there's a uh, trash bins and we saw the trash garbage truck driving here we can leave our trash here otherwise we wouldn't leave it here rather in the cities or larger towns where they empty those more often but now here because we saw the guys Yeah, now we have actually gone through the worst parts, the, the tightest parts and the highest parts. I actually checked from the open street map where is these uh, height curves. So we should be level until we get to the tarmac. Yes. And there's uh, some trees in the side of the road protecting Sarah's mental health. Yeah, they are psychological trees. They are not going to protect our van falling from the ditch but it helps when there's a trees I can concentrate on pretty trees yeah. so it always helps yeah. trees are friend hopefully the worst part is over uh, there was come see steep parts yeah we could barely make it with our van but we, may we make it and we don't want 4 by 4 if we can get even stupider places with 4 by 4 we would be killing ourselves finally in the same spot that we were 
couple of days ago when we walked here. It took us three hours to drive that really narrow road, basically driving just with the first three gear everywhere so we can get it forward. But now we are on tarmac, Sarah can relax. Maybe if we find some mini market, we buy a wine or something. <laughs> this was terrifying road. Most terrifying road that we have done and never. We are up in the mountains and scenery here is breathtaking and the temperatures did rise almost 15 degrees in a one hour so it was kind of cold weather and then the temperature just rised and all this haze in the background it's this weird humidity moistness and it feels like it's going to be rainy it does look like a forest fire or Africa sand but it's just those tiny little triplets of water. Visibility is not that clear, but behind me it looks like we are in the Alp region and not Greece at all, because we are so high up in the elevation, there's no trees. And the mountains here are kind of pointy ones. It's breathtaking scenery. Oh, I could stare this image. Flowers. <laughs> White asphalt road even actually gives you uh, safe feeling, but it's it's not. It's totally opposite. Yeah, you might think that this this is totally safe route, but there are again 400 meter drop just beside us. Nothing is stopping us driving down. The tarmac can actually give you a false sensation of safety. Like you are in tarmac so you can drive carelessly. But still you have the same 600 meter drop just beside your road. Yeah. I think in any other country this uh, area would be full of hotels. If you would be in uh, Alps. Reason. Of course, there's a lot of more people, I know, but still, look at this view. Really beautiful area. I think one of the most beautiful mountain areas that we have been. In Germany, there would be like uh, tavernas and hotels, and the road would be much more better condition. Because this is a beautiful place. Yeah. So, all the tourists would come here. Now, it's like dead end. You cannot go there. I wouldn't go there anymore. You cannot go there with motor home. Oh, a lot of van. Impassable nature. It's a really scary feeling that you can tell that you cannot get there. Like always, a human wants to get some places. But we will say goodbye to this valley, and we see next valley. Oh, actually, this time a lake. We are driving down this road until we see a lake. And then, when we have internet, now we don't have internet, we will see where we end up spending the next night. Safely driving down from the mountains. Mountains. Whenever we see a trash can, it's a sign of hope because it means the paths are getting wider. If there's a trash can, there has to fit a garbage truck too. But in Greek, Greece, the garbage truck drivers are crazy. So, in that sense, it doesn't tell you the whole truth. Go 
Google Maps showed us there's some kind of mini market somewhere here, but it's just dirt road that continues and continues. I think Google Maps has learned something from our driving behavior. <laughs> that we are, I like this kind of roads. Yeah. But hopefully we can find the market because we are dying for the glass of wine. That's Cold what... wine. Well, any wine at this point would be okay. Yeah. Hopefully we can score the store, but it looks like this forest just continues forever. It's a panic time. <laughs> the guy recommended. And a couple of ice creams. That's so sweet. Thank you, Yanni. Yes. Local handmade ice cream. Passion fruit. A liquid. White chocolate and strawberry. Mm. Oh, and the ice cream is like the really creamy, rich. Not that fluffy ice cream that you can get. These were 85 cents a piece. And the panikka was 12 euros. I really hope it's good wine because I don't really trust the Greek wines. I'm sorry. It but was local grapes. There was Chardonnay. Mix also, but I took one with the local grapes. Mm -hmm.